like fondle your woman's your wife's breasts like he's pretty much saying that and that's not okay that's not what god god doesn't want us to idolize you know our wives breasts no mario no you got the word of god wrong and god's gonna strike you down for this mario he's gonna strike you down i'm sorry to tell you but you cannot speak about god our father this way and i won't let you do it 2016 let's get into the video that after though specifically but let's let's take a look at what it says so let, let's listen right that thou mayest regard discretion and that thy lips may keep knowledge and then he says for the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb and her mouth is smoother than oil hmm what is he trying to say there okay well she's going to be very seductive in the way that she talks hey baby what's up Anna? you know like she's She's got this like seduction, this very sensualness to her, okay? And he says it's smoother than oil. You know, you can really see that. It's like, whoa, okay? Now, notice this. It says, for the lips of a strange woman. Now, what straight man? Mario claims he's not a homosexual, which after watching this, I full-on believe he is gay. He is a homosexual. What man talks in a, in a sensitive, like, girly voice like this? You'll see in a minute how, how bad it gets, how bad he gets. It's like he can't contain himself. He's a full, I believe he's a full-on homosexual. Now, why does it say strange? Now, the Bible actually has other examples. It says that King Solomon ended up marrying strange wives. Now, what does that mean? It means that they're strangers to God. They don't know God. So if you, if, if you're with, if you have a part or someone in mind and they don't have Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, they have not accepted the gospel and they're born again, they are strange. They're strangers to God. So they fall into the category of being a strange woman. And God says, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Okay, don't be unequally yoked. Don't go for the strange woman or man. If they don't know the Lord, they're strange. Okay, you don't want a strange a stranger to the Lord. And uh, but okay, so so you know her lips are all sexy. She might have sexy lips and put on lipstick and you know seduce you with her sensuality, bros. What straight man does this? I wouldn't get in front of the camera and talk like that to people watching pretending to put lipstick on to people watching who would do that who does that i'll tell you who does that a man that wants your money a man that's putting on a show he ain't he isn't doing this for for god he isn't doing this to preach the gospel of jesus christ he's doing this for his own desires do you think jesus would say hey go and go go put yourself in front of a camera and talk in a sensual, sexual voice and pretend to put lipstick on. No, Mario, no. Or it could be a guy, you know, he's whatever. But then in verse 4, But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Okay, uh, so although on the outside she she or he can sensually use the words and, and the lips and it, it's, it's attractive. Yeah. If you just let your eyes do everything, you probably are going to get seduced because visually what this is saying is these people are very appealing, very sexy. You know, they're hot. The world would call them. Yeah. That's a hot bro. That's a hot girl, right? Now, he said it as a hot bro. Because visually what this is saying is these people are very appealing, very sexy. You know, they're hot, the world would call them. Yeah, that's a hot bro. That's a hot girl, right? Yeah, he caught himself there. This is 2016. We've been calling this out. We've been calling this out. Uh-huh. Yeah, he had all the hot guys, all the hot girls. Mm -hmm. Trying to get... get uh, to suck a ding dong. <laughs> this guy's, you need, he's not qualified. 
Again, it's 2016. And what you're about to see is even worse. Even worse than this. You really need, first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who sent the loving prayers a couple of hours after this video was posted and people were replying with very nice uplifting comments I could feel the prayers I actually feel a whole lot better I feel clean now and I think um, for now we have defeated this demon through Jesus Christ you are you are going to fight the devil every day of your life you cannot defeat these demons on your own if you try you're going to fail every time you need Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ only because if you don't do anything in his name he ain't going to help you you need to truly surrender to the Holy Spirit allow him to lift you up and sometimes you need a little help some of these demons are really powerful you need to reach out and you need to ask for help and I thank every one of you that prayed for your help because I was in a really dark place and it's night and day night and day um, you know we all make mistakes and I th I, I, I want to say thank you to you know Andrew Carl you know spoken night truth never sleeps call for an uprising all the people everybody else who has shared these videos not only on YouTube but on other platforms as well uh, we need this clown taken down we need this pervert taken down um, and I've seen the comments I'll go on like on Andrew's channel um, and we'll read the comments on there and a lot of people are feeling foolish their eyes are open don't feel foolish we all make mistakes we all get down okay your sin today is tomorrow's testimony the only difference the only thing that is keeping you holding you back are you truly surrendered to God are you truly leaning on the Holy Spirit or are you just going to go back to your own ways and look for someone else that's claiming to know Jesus Christ but they're out here on boats and yachts going out here taking trips and everything all a show for the camera I mean do you really need to shave in front of the camera what is the purpose of this don't look back okay nobody looking back is fit for the kingdom of God we all been there we've all done stupid things don't be ashamed of it because it made you who you are you gotta remember there's somebody else where you used to be and you have experience on how to overcome it in Jesus name so you can use that if you rely on the Holy Spirit you say a prayer truly surrender the Holy Spirit say guide me give me the right words to say it's not I, I recognize it's not me it's you what do you want me to say to help this man or this woman or the, whoever is before you now you've got what they want to see the third option which is all total trash 
So don't worry about it. If you were deceived by this man. I'm going to tell you the truth. When I made my first video in October of 2012, I put out a disclaimer against Christian, uh, anyone trying to get you to, to, to believe in Jesus Christ. I put out a disclaimer against my future self because of this clown. We all make mistakes. You've got to truly repent and come with a humble heart to Christ. Get in your hard copy King James Bible. Don't trust man. If you trust man and you look to man, you are an idolater. And no idolater gets into the kingdom of heaven. If you, Just because Jesus said, you have to hate your father, you have to hate your mother, family, doesn't mean you have to have a strong dislike for them. It just simply means you have to love them less than you love God. Okay, it doesn't, if you're putting a YouTube channel, something on social media above God, you're an idolater. If you don't repent, you will get rejected. If you're putting a television show, a musician, a so-called entertainer, an actor, actress, a sports team above God, you are an idolater and you're in danger of eternal damnation in the eternal lake of fire. It's up to you. So don't feel foolish if you've been conned by this guy. Okay, this was in 2016. And it was brought up. I brought it up. Some other people brought it up. And if you chose not to listen, hey, are you listening now? Do you believe us now? Just because we got, you know, the proof in the pudding right here of him trying to suck ding-dongs is not speculation. He is bisexual 100%. And you wonder why we keep doing this. The time is now to slay this Goliath and take this channel down. Even God and Rules made a video of him. And that shows how bad it's gotten for Mario. Because God Rules is the worst. He is the worst. If you follow him on bitch, you, you'd think the world's coming to an end. You must see this right now. It's shocking. Come on, give me a break. I've been, I've been sucked into the fear porn. A lot of doomsday... You know, channels will make it seem like the world's in tomorrow. They have completely forgotten. Nobody knows the day or the hour. And we're close. We can see the signs. I didn't know a meteor hit the, the super blood wolf moon when it was in that state. That's a sign. We're close. And it could happen tomorrow. But guess what? It could also happen 20 years from now. 100 years from now. We don't know. Because God has granted us space to repent. And grace covers all sins. But anyway, this is what, this is why we keep doing this. Because it's already been done. And we need to, the, the time is right to in this. If you have, you see how he's always been perverted. He has always been a pervert. He's always been vain. I mean, when you go to, ah, shoot, I don't want to do it yet. I'll go here in a second. Did you hear that? Did you hear what he just said? Th that is why I believe this man to be a homosexual. See if I can go back to that. He said, "Yeah, that's a hot bro," and he corrected himself. It's attractive. Yeah. If you just let your eyes do everything, you probably are going to get seduced, because visually, what this is saying is 
these people are very appealing, very sexy. You know, they're these people are very sexy. Now listen to who he says these people are very sexy. Listen to what he says after that. Who's very sexy, Mario? Hot. The world would call him. Yeah, that's a hot bro. That's a that's a hot bro. You just exposed yourself, Mario. That's a hot bro. <laughs> you are a homosexual, aren't you? A hot girl right there, you know? Like, man, she's banging. I, wow. Okay, but you're using physical eyes, not spiritual. Because if you saw spiritually, you would see what's said in verse 4 here. But her end is bitter as worm. Her or his end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. You're going to cut yourself. Mario has so many lies, and and he's so this, double minded. He again, can't this even is from keep his story straight. He can't even keep We're his sorry, mind this was straight. Sorry, this supposed to twenty seventeen. And focused on on what July it should 6, be. July sixth, twenty seventeen. That's a man that's double minded. He's speaking out of his rear end. He doesn't know what he's saying. He's double talking. We've been talking about this. Yes. There ain't nothing new. Her feet go down to death. Her steps lead to hell. Lest thou shouldest ponder the path of her uh, of life, uh, her ways are movable that thou canst know them. Okay, so what does that mean? She's all over the place. Okay, she's not stable because it takes the Lord to be a stable person. So this type of woman is all over the place. You can't, you can't trust her. Okay, bro. Listen, you might think you have this girl down locked. Well. She's the type of girl that she's going to meet someone next week at the bar. He's going to come over and be like, hey, babe, I can take you on a vacation. I can buy you what you want. And all of a sudden, guess what, homie? You don't mean nothing to her. Because she's, she's, her ways are movable. Nothing's secure with her. Mm. Very telling, isn't it? Okay. So I just remember, I remembered earlier that the main channel is still up. Now, of course, there's a link here. Click here to donate and all this other stuff. And then you see Vigilant Vlog. Watch, all in caps, watch these videos. And right here, there's a picture pointing to his boyfriend, his bisexual lover, Eric, the one who he has pictures of his demon with. And this was from four months ago. This only has eight just under 9,000 views. Christians have more fun. He's on a boat. And you look at this. Look at the deception here. Manipulation. Vanity. And he's going towards the youth. Vanity. Vanity. All of this is vanity. He's playing on me. He's admitted to taking donation money. Again, August 23rd, 2012. He's admitted with his ministry. Spending it on drugs, alcohol, vacations. And you see him out here saying Christians have more fun. Christians have more fun. Look at this. And he's pointing right to his dude. He, you need to demand a refund if you have donated to this guy. You need to donate. And then when you click on this and just so you see this was September 6, 2018. So, so again, we've gone, this is almost exactly six years to the day. And when you go back to zeros, all right, and you start this video, he's got the camera between his legs. Like as if it's, I mean, come on now, really? He gets caught with his pants down, and here he's talking about, you know, asking for breast while while talking about his his hot bros. And he wants to do this and thinks he needs to be around children. When did Jesus Christ say 
take up your boat and go swimming. Have a fun day at the lake. Is this not like it was in their day, in Christ's day, where they needed a boat to actually get somewhere? Now you get on a boat, it's called a cruise. And it's a luxurious thing. It's vanity. It no longer serves the purpose of what a boat was originally designed for. As transportation. Be the kind of person that when your feet hit the floor in the morning, the devil says, oh no, he's up. Hey, Faith Are family, you I hope you're doing well. Welcome to another uh, vlog where I'm going to show you how I live my life. If you haven't seen my previous blog, the blog, it's early, sorry, vlog, I encourage you to go check it out. What I talk again, this is how he lives his life. Let's listen to that again. Let's listen to that again. Hey, Faith family, I pray you're doing well. Welcome to another uh, vlog where I'm going to show you how I live my life. If you haven't seen my previous blog, the blog, it's early, sorry, vlog, I encourage you to go check it out. What I talked about is uh, my purpose in creating this video. Have more fun. Christians have more fun. This is the second part of it. And notice how he's talking with his hands, how he's using witchcraft. He's standing up. The camera is pointed to where it's by his face. It's one thing to talk with your hands, but to, to you have to raise your arm up to get it near your face like this. It's intentional. This is how he lives his life. He lives it for YouTube. Going out here, driving at the boat, going at the sea. Doing the show for the camera, getting sexual in front of children. You need to demand a refund if you are if your eyes are open. Because this is nothing new. This is the way it's always been. And this live your best life now nonsense is straight from the devil. Straight from the pits of hell. What did Jesus say? It's better to cry now and smile later than to smile now and cry later. That's the words of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. All these televangelists. Remember, Jim Baker admitted to never reading the Bible cover to cover until he was in prison in the early 90s. Never read the Bible. But yet, he told you, live your best life now. We're going to build an amusement park. These people who tell you to do this, to have fun, Christian life's a, a joy ride on the boat, on out at the lake, and nothing else. They don't know God, the true living God, the only God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, sent His only begotten Son and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins, and who He rose again on the third day. He died. Christ died for you to have eternal life. Not to go out here on a boat ride. I mean, look at the stupidity. How are you serving Christ doing this? How is this saving lost souls? How is this preaching the word of God? How is this having a ministry? How is this serving Jesus Christ? This is what he's done with your donation money. This is how he spends his daily life. This is his daily life. We need the man to leave up. This is fraud. How is this edifying the flock? How is this edifying to Jesus Christ? How is this having a proper ministry? 
This is misuse of funds. Yeah! Are you kidding me? Having more fun than you. I'm having more fun than you. Wow. That was fun. You really don't need drugs or alcohol to have fun. You need God. <laughs> Super. <laughs> <laughs> you, why can't he get off it? Why he's showing the chemtrails? I mean, look at this. He's supposed to be a truther, and he's, he's just completely ignoring the chemtrails, saying being being out in it is fun. Variety and just blessings. And think about this. Think about this. These little boats, these little retreats that these legitimate corporations do. All right, they go out there and they do that. Spend a fraction of the time, 5, 10, 20 minutes talking about business. You can write it off as a business expense. This is what he's done with your donation. And notice how he showed the shot of the sun. It's sun worship. You serve, you, you should be like the post office, okay? You're out there running around serving Jesus Christ, although they don't serve Jesus Christ. But that's how you should take it. Rain, sleet, or snow. Okay? You don't do this sun worship garbage. Just unreal. And again. How I live my life. If you haven't seen my previous blog. Hey, Faith family, I pray you're doing well. Welcome to another uh, vlog where I'm going to show you how I live my life. You're doing well. Welcome to another uh, vlog where I'm going to show you how I live my life. You need to demand a rate. Don't let someone else be victimized by this guy when he takes any more cash, right? And he talked about his, his cat that ran away. Uh, and first of all, this, this guy has to live for YouTube. Disease. He's got to show his disgusting sheets that really need to be washed. And that's not going to be good. He shows be able to live him point and making his bed so clean your as bed. though it's a rarity. And I mean, look go. at this garbage. All done. Looks nice, eh, Mr. Yuri? I mean, look at this, and you wonder why the cat ran away. All right, so the first thing that I do is morning devotional. If you're going to be in a relationship with anyone, especially God, it takes time being intimate and alone with that person to draw near to deepen that relationship. It's like that with anything, um, with anyone. If you have a lover and you don't spend time with them, your husband or wife... Again lover with them husband comes first the dude is gay okay and I have had a past I have overcome homosexuality we're both disqualified as a full-fledged minister until we get married Honestly and truthfully, that's what Scripture says. I'm not trying to be a minister. I would love to serve God, but to actually have a, you know, a church, can't do it. I'm not qualified. And I'm fine with that. Until the Lord says, "Hey, here's someone for you to marry." If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. We're all called to do our own thing. But this guy has been taking donation money for almost seven years, calling it a ministry. And he's out here sucking dick. Going out here... I mean, who, who does this? Who does this? And to reflect, meditate on his word, and pray, and worship. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do that prior. 
tentatively, so I'll let you go. You want to do that while you're out here on the on the water? All right, so it is grooming time. Time to trim up the beard. I figured I'd show this, obviously, for the brothers out there. Uh, sister, if you're growing a beard, might be a problem. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so fine, I've been dude. growing out the beard here. Uh, one of the tools that I use is this brush here. Who cares what you dollar. do? And he's probably getting paid to promote it. I'm going to go and upload that and uh, go to the main channel and check it out if you haven't. Uh, not sure if it will be up today or tomorrow, but uh, should be there soon. <laughs> so now it's time to get some work done. Now, as you've seen yesterday, it's very Is he important with his hands? that we live a disciplined life where we We're work not hard. Watching this whole the Bible garbage. tells us that as All men, right? especially. Where's he working? Oh, he's, he's, he's going out to the gym. I mean, look at this. How does this work? How is this? And this guy's got a shirt that says metal. Is, it, is that like heavy metal? Would they glorify Satan? I'm having more fun than you. Alright. Well, look at this. And you pay him money to say this. Let's also say it again. I'm having more fun than you. Alright, brothers and sisters. It Are you kidding me? Life isn't about having fun. I'm having more fun than you. Alright, brother. What an arrogant prick. He's not... He's not taking... That's not the whole point of this. Okay, you're not getting paid to have fun. You're paid. <sighs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Is he about to talk again? We can still listen to this again. Handle that for you by putting your faith in Jesus Christ. Seeking a woman thing for her, whatever she needs. She's movable. She's not going to sit down, okay? Oh, um. Okay, just block control. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait for then it. it says, Hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove thy way from her. Okay. I have met her. You must be talking about the same girl. This is all a joke to him. He giggles like a little girl throughout this because he can't contain himself. He can't contain himself. You'll see what he goes when he starts talking about women's breasts in a minute. He can't contain himself. It's all a joke to him. All of it. It's not funny, Mario, but you're making it into a joke because you're a child and you haven't grown. You You can't grow because... The Lord is not with you. Jesus Christ is not with you. And we all can, here on YouTube, all of us watching you that are truly saved and that have the whole, and us, and we that have the Holy Spirit in us, we are capable of seeing past your BS. We are capable of seeing past your lies and manipulation. Absolutely. Near the door of her house. All right. So when she drunk calls you at night and she's like, baby, I just got back from the club. I want to come in your room. You know, and she like tempts you and all that. Yo, you just be like, honey, bloop, block, block you, you know, say a prayer, repent, you know. Why would you even give out your number to a girl at the bar? Hmm. As a Christian, why would you even do that? Why wouldn't you, if you knew somebody from your past, why wouldn't you blow up their bar. number? Heck, why wouldn't you even change your own phone number to be done away with that? Pray to the Lord that he helps you get away from it. But no, he's going to cherry pick scripture and flap his jaws. He's going to double talk. He's going to get you all, Mario's going to get you all confused. That's what Mario is good at. Go take a cold shower, do what you need to do. Don't have her over, okay? 
it says to not even uh, remove. It says to remove. Yeah, exactly, Barry. To flee. Okay, to run away from that. Okay. Um. <laughs> no, that's good, Anita. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Any guy that's going to be like, "Hey, I can offer you anything," he's not sincere. Like, th the man of God uh, should try and build a solid brother sister bond with you. He should honor you, honor onto others, and thy years onto the cruel. Okay, you're going to hurt your reputation. I'm going to skip along to find the parts. Lest strangers be filled with thy wealth and thy labor when you... Um, let her be as, it, as the loving hind in a pleasant row. Now, this is like weird type of like ancient Israel. Here he goes. Type of like a little girl America. now giggling. A weird. Watch. Let her breast satisfy thee all the time. Okay. God is literally saying if you're married, you know, let her breast. <laughs> God's saying it. Those are your boobies, bro. Like, love on them. Let them satisfy you. Are you kidding me, dude? The first time I heard this, I was so mad. I was so mad I almost punched my computer monitor. God, so his, his, in his words, God is saying it's okay to love on your woman's breasts. That's Mario's understanding of this scripture. Oh, that's really lost. What you just said. I love God. God is serious. I'll be totally satisfied in my woman's breast. Lord, give me a pair. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Lord, give me breasts, and you'll be satisfied in those breasts. Yeah, he's. Yeah, you see how bad it is. I'll. Leave a link for this. I'll try to remember. Uh, Led by God, put this out um, in 2017, a year and a half ago. Yep, vigilant Christian exposed. Ask for, asking for breasts. While well, he's saying, "I'm having more fun than you." This is the way you should live. Your, live your best life now. I'm having more fun than you. Like I said, you need to demand a refund. He's put this in your face this whole time. It's been there the whole time. The only difference is you haven't seen it. But you know what? You see it now. God has granted you with eyes to see. Ears to hear. You know what that makes you? That makes... He's giving you a responsibility to speak up. This needs to end. And it needs to end now. So many others don't get victimized by this. He does not need to continually get, a, get away with this. It's always been there. Wake up and spread the word. If you're embarrassed, don't be. Just know there are people still defending him. And you have an obligation to wake them up. In Jesus' name, truly ask the Holy Spirit to give you the right words to say. Because Keep your mouth shut. You're just as guilty as Mario is. Go, go to pay. Report him on PayPal. Report him to Patreon. You know, like it's it's GoFundMe. You know, if it's if it's fraudulent, then they take it down. If it's proven to be fraudulent, he's been proven to be fraudulent. You need to ask for your money back. And you need to report him to PayPal, to Patreon, to these other accounts. And shut them down. 
because he's taking your money and going out and having fun with it, having a blast, and has been for years. But you work for that money. That's yours. You don't owe know him nothing. He ain't Jesus. Jesus is the only one you need to surrender your life to, that you have any debt to, because he paid the price for your sin. He died, not for you to have your best life now, but so you could have life. Real life. Eternal life. Don't buy into this trash he's pushing you. You need to repent of your sins and turn from your sins and pick up your cross daily. And truly be a servant of God. So you got to know what that really means. And you got to get off of YouTube and get in your hard copy King James Bible. Staying in the Word of God daily and staying in prayer daily is how you defeat Satan through Jesus Christ. Who defeated Satan on the cross? He suffered, so you don't have to. It's a gift, and you'd be pretty stupid to pass it up for Mario. These videos ain't for Mario. They're for his victims. He still don't get it. He still don't get it. His Am I Gay video, which the answer is yes, he has a homosexual attraction wanting to suck another man's ding-dongs with their pictures on his phones, going out and searching for... Okay, let's say that's not his friend's ding-dongs. Fine. He admitted to going on Google and searching for men's ding-dongs. Don't be gullible with a capital duh. Jesus woke you up. Don't let the shock paralyze you. There are other people that still don't even see it. Count yourself lucky that God opened your eyes. Because there's other people that are still, their heart is still hardened to this man. That's a shame. That's a real shame. 